Hey guys, this is Snowy and welcome to part 7 of the City of Hope into this Natural Disasters uh, episode uh, series of City Skylines and a lot of has happened in part 6 and actually I have a lot of uh, 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 what the hell is this? Nice cinegraphic, okay, thank you Okay, a lot of things happened uh, in part 6 um, and also in the meantime a little bit uh, in, in between. Um, I was sort of at the brink of uh, bankruptcy which you did not entirely see because of um, I expanded the oil area in such a way that it took away all the residents from the normal industry towards the oil industry so they did not walk again through my parks anymore and yeah like uh, in the city uh, of becoming a billionaire uh, parks are really a good uh, source of revenue and uh, I just took a you know advantage of that situation by also creating the same situation as I did uh, towards the industry so I will show you what I have done so far and what is on the agenda for now let's see Okay, let's get in some closer. So what I've done here, what you have seen in part six is like creating, let me see, where is this uh, park? Oh yeah, here's the park area. Well, you can already see like all these people are walking through it and I closed off this road and also this road because there was an overpass over here, which was kind of silly of me. So, because I could even walk there. I even had to put in a national highway into here because I determined that they were walking from here all around to here and then to here. So, that was kind of stupid also. And um, yeah, so, okay, there's a dead person waiting over there. Aha, so let's take care of that immediately. But I want to fit it over there. Okay. Okay, so people uh, have to walk now also to get into this oil industry and yeah, it also made me think about this entire area and about, you know, all the disasters that uh, are happening and can happen in the future. I um, also bought, and you can probably see by the amount of money I have now, is like, yes, I did uh, got a lot of... Uh, revenue just by adding this park and add another park also over here so this one is also getting money from people who walk from this residential zone to a few of these luxurious places like this zoo and this poor small over here yeah and with some parking lot over there and they can even go to work even to there if they want to so, you know, I let the game run for a while and I kept a close eye on the um, uh, disasters. And to be frankly honest, I even turned them off for a while so I could, you know, collect a little bit of money in case of. Um, and also had uh, to devise a strategy about what to do, you know. So I purchased the tiles to the end of the map and uh, I decided that I wanted to raise the uh, highway that is coming from the edge of the map. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And the same goes for the um, rail tracks as well. So what I'm going to do now is like I'm going to select all this stuff like all this and I'm going to bulldoze it. And also this can be bulldozed. Well, actually everything has to be bulldozed because it has to be heightened. So let's bulldoze this away. Come on, okay. So, you know, even, even those fields, they are not that important. So it's like, uh, oh, get out of here. Okay. Mm, because this road, I made earlier um, I did skip it in part six a little bit about the building of this road so this road is sitting at an elevation of like what well, it says 30 meters so I think 30 meters is a nice elevation 
Um, so I need to place like this junction again, but then at 30 meters. And okay, let's put it there. Okay. Let me see. I think it's even higher than that. Okay, now let's make a few connections over here like this. Okay, um, straight line please, thank you. Why can't this be just as normal? Yeah, okay. Okay, just get it a little bit closer like that. Oh, by the way, I also have been looking around for uh, on the Steam Workshop for something called a sluice. Now you might think like a sluice, what do you need a sluice with? Well, I, you know, maybe some of you know I'm from the Netherlands and we here in the Netherlands we have like uh, sluice gates uh, in our so-called Delta works which acts basically like, okay, if there's nothing wrong, then the sluice is open and ships can pass by. And also uh, the same goes for uh, marine life, etc., etc. And I was thinking about the area where I am now producing this um, oil and also other areas where I can later on produce um, um, other materials to have this safely behind a nice levee, a dike, against, uh, to protect it against a um, tsunami. And, well, let me wait a second, yeah, let's select this like that, then bulldoze it away. Okay, that's nice. And, but sadly enough, there was no, um, there was no um, sluice available in the steam workshop sadly enough um let me see so let's do some lane mathematics over here okay so of course i need this this works all out nicely and now we will just continue this road okay and let's see it does not need to go all the way back to here it can just plump out of the uh, area straight here so yeah that's okay by me mm. can I get past that no just not well who cares you know I just buy that area okay Uh, okay, where where did we were? Like, okay, over here. So let's get to the. Let's go there. One eighty. One eighty. Now I would love to make a nice straight line, just you know, along this dot dotted line. It I it can act nicely as a. Uh, this height is 36 meters well I, I can live with that so i will just put it to the outside of the map here and then here we are going back like uh, let me see yeah okay that that's look yeah that's looking good it's pretty yeah it's looking pretty good Nothing to complain about. Uh, now let's only uh, match up this stuff. So that means like deleting a little bit of this stuff again. Okay, do it again. Take a nice curve. Let's see. No, no, wait. Before doing that, first let's get this a little bit more closer. Like about here. Yeah. That will do. Okay, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. And sometimes I'm even wondering like, okay, should I even do this? Is it not like, you know, with the disasters that it's, it's, it's actually custom to, you know, let your city be hit by a disaster and just cope with it? Or is it the idea to 
try to uh, minimize your damage uh, due to disasters uh, because uh, they're hitting your city. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even sure about that. What, what would be considered as, um, yeah, desirable for for all you guys who might be watching this this video, these videos. I don't know. What are your expectations? What, what what do you what do you like uh, let's, let's see what this goes to uh, okay so okay we don't have anything over there anymore okay this is the last one what if I remove this section yeah then two are remaining I think that that is the sweet spot I think we should be able to connect this uh yeah okay so let's see nah let's go the other way. yeah the other way like that uh well yeah this will do okay 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 Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, that seems like legit. Uh, this road is now coming from the outside. Mm, the fog is a little bit uh, preventing from seeing this, but click it, click it. And for some reason, it's turned off. Now, if you see these symbols, these green symbols, that means you have like an outside connection. That's, uh, yeah, that's that's okay. So we will do the same with this, um, um, with this railroad, rail track. Okay, this is going to be, oh my goodness. It's going to be a nasty job. But somebody has to do it. Okay, where's that thing going? It's all the way going towards this place. Mm. Yeah, um, this is sort of the center of the uh, the place, and I, I mean, um, I cannot completely um, protect everything. So I think I will heighten it from here, from like uh, here. Okay, let's move it, remove it, remove it. And also what I not, not was thinking about was like uh, using uh, shipyards for exploitation. I mean, I was completely forgetting about that. Okay, uh, remove. Okay, now let's get to the train tracks. Okay, now we are going from here. We are going to, so let's see. This is 30 meter, right? So how far would that go inland? Yeah, there, now let's see. It still has to cross this area, which will be, will be a little bit tricky. Um, how shall we do that? Um, Yeah, I think I think this will this will be kind of difficult, you know. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? Um, let's just let's make a bend first, and we will bend it first upwards here, yes, and then also bend it backward this way. Mm, okay, it's also in the air. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine with me. Now we make a nice straight road again. Road, hear me again. Railroad again. Uh, me and me. Yeah, it's very troublesome to be me sometimes. Okay, let's heighten this to 30 meters. Okay, can we make it nice and straight like that? Yes. 
And oh, we have to pass this road. Is that going to work? Let's see. Ooh. Well. Well, actually, it does pass. Uh, yeah. I think it is better to let it go under the under that. Oh, here's the issue. That's why because it's going down here. Ah. So how high is this? Yeah, 30 meters. Yeah, because this landscape uh, here is higher. Okay, okay, I can live with that. It's fine. It's okay. No problem. No issue. Okay. Um, so okay, let's curve that down. Let's curve that down. Okay. So let's see, like uh, 40u. Okay. Let's take this 40u down, 40, 40, yes, perfect, perfect bend. Now, let's take this again, all the way to what's here. And now we have to see like, okay, how high this is in relation to that road. Um, it's getting, it's Cutting and close. Um, I'm thinking about, oh, you know, just putting it besides the road would be nice. Would it fit along this border or not? Let me see. I think it would just fit, you know. That would be, that would be awesome. Because, so how high is this thing? This is. I think this should be the height. Yeah, 36 meters. Because I can just pull it straight here and then outside, yes, bam, the map, yes, okay. Now, now I'm going to show you something that Biffa told uh, us recently, it's about the troubles which you can have with traffic uh, on your rail traffic, it's like, it's all about this... Um, node which you have here look how close it is to the edge of the map sometimes you have like trains which are pretty long and they can get stuck because then there's a train here waiting and another one is coming and they are standing again against each other and they cannot move so the solution to this problem is like mm, no you can remove um, this uh, leg and then move this one whoa let's select them select this node and pull it all the way back from the uh, edge so more okay this looks like a little bit you know kind of stupid <laughs> can i delete this and delete this uh, let me see and then connect it again okay so as you can see now there is more space and well if in the future it would happen that trains still get bogged up you can like uh, pull this further apart uh, that side so yeah trains will not be bogged there again so here they are nicely up into the air yeah that's great that's great where is that train track oh it's there okay nice nice good okay um okay let's see how far can we go here the bend starts to come in yeah okay is this is this lower or not uh, no not really okay now let's make a bend here from here and then to there yeah that's a nice one and then from here we can make a nice let's see a nice no let's get an, a little bit closer like that yes and then from here okay we should be able to connect this stuff up okay, come on yeah 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 Okay, why is this so... I don't know. What is wrong with this? 
There's something wrong with it. I cannot... I don't know what, uh, because, you know, for some reason there is no bridge element there. First turn the anarchy off and activate the bridge area and then try this again. So, what, where, where is the snapping option? Yeah, it's turned on. So, if I select this and go to there, why won't it snap to the other part? Huh, I don't get it. Here it will not either. Hmm. But at least we have the bridge part and yeah, I can live with this. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so, okay, they're now using this road <laughs> to get in the city. All the way through the mountain. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so we have to do this uh, also all, uh, you know, completely. And to save time, I will do this off camera because, you know, this is a lot of work, um, you know. I will do it off camera and you will see the results later. So what I was talking about this sluice. Now I was thinking about altering this area a little bit to encompass this area as well. And I have this uh, dike over here and well, I want to remove it. Keep this, uh, this train uh, on this height and just create a dam just over here for just you know safety issues and because there is no such thing as a sluice um yeah i was thinking like um wh what can i use because i want to use the cargo uh, facilities to export the oil which is produced here and the possible farming area over here so first of all let me delete this one Okay, and now level the land to the same height. Don't know what this will do to the area. So don't don't worry about these uh, rail tracks. I will uh, make sure that they will be uh, properly set in part eight. So just do it like that. So let's check out the. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. There is a there is a nice cargo route coming in, and I would love to have like a, a structure that, if activated, would close a water barrier that would hold a tsunami, for example, or, or even a little flood or whatsoever. And there are a few things that I am thinking of, and that is like. Well, let's let's maybe explain this by example. Now, let's say I have like we have like um, this is a, wa a wall of dirt. Let's say this is a piece of um, um, a dam like that. I will make it a little bit, you know, exaggerated like that. And we have also like a piece here like that. And but for the ships to enter, um, well, okay, let's make this a little bit like that, like that. So, whenever there is no disaster, ships can still enter this area. And I was thinking about what kind of structure I can put in here that will be always open when not activated. It can be closed at the moment it's needed. For example, if a tsunami warning is, uh, you know, getting in, then I can go to these places and then click on this um, building structure, whatever, and then voila, it's closed. Now, <laughs> there are a few options uh, like, um, let, me, let me see. We can use, for example, the, the key, I think. So you can, Okay, so we expecting a tsunami, so we can put a key wall in here. Um, and to be frankly honest, I'm, you know, this is looking horrible. I'm not even sure if a key wall is uh, suitable for this, um, to be honest. No, I don't know. I actually don't know. 
Let, you know what? Let, let us check out. Check this out. Let's take a water source, put it behind here. Let's see what is happening. Let's, let's put it on play faster. Let's see. Will water go through it or not? Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually surprised. So a key wall is an option, is a viable option. You could place it pretty quickly. Um, okay, so interesting. So put that away. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, since the entrance uh, would be here, Let's see how far I could get this, but I also have to take into account this road. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm going to remove this entire section of road. Uh, wait a second. Uh, let's do this right. Not to remove the wrong things. Okay, remove that and remove that and remove all of this stuff yes and uh, also also this one has to be heightened as well because it's not connected here so for the time being yeah and also this has to be heightened uh, yeah it all has to be heightened so just you know put it away hm. for now you know what, I just press pause on the game for now, because I want to know... And uh, let me see... Uh, ship... Ships... Ships... Oh yeah, ships are here. Okay, so normal wise there is water here, right? Or not? Oh no, 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 it's not. Wait a second, let's play again. Uh, how much water would be in here? Let's turn this on very quickly. Did I somehow... What is happening here? What is this? Okay, we don't... No, we don't need that. And what we do need is like... And that is something I want to have. Is like just a simple key wall oh, from here to there just to protect this area I mean this is really my uh, yeah my main area this and I want to protect this at all cost even with another key wall here around it I will even place this uh, rail uh, later over it we'll probably do that also um, off uh, camera because yeah I have a limited amount of time so why is this uh, dry what is going on here should I make yeah I will make this a little bit deeper because this is like it's like looking crap I'm going to put it just like a yeah so above the cable car sign you see this this is only like i don't know a centimeter on my screen but if i get the power then i know that if i put it like here then this is probably the limit i can go you see yeah that works and here i can do the same power and then just above here and that's the limit that i can go i even have some i even have some space left uh, the narrowed point is over here by the way i don't know maybe i should take advantage of that to mm, bah, well not needed no it's not needed okay let's um make this higher um 
Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, um, yes. Okay, let's make this a little bit smaller, like that. So... Okay. And also like this. Holy smoke, Carinas. Oh, that should be a lot higher. Huh? Okay, so the entire idea is basically now to put a dike around this area and okay so give me a second i will make a nice uh, dike around here around this area until this point and be right back Okay guys, uh, I've been done with building this uh, typical Dutch uh, way of building a protection barrier and as you can see it runs down all around this area and it leaves open a gate here, sort of a gate uh, in which that um, ships can still enter and when there is a tsunami coming I have the option to use the key wall, I hope at least that it's possible, to block this junction and keep hopefully the tsunami out. Now the height of this dike, it was arbitrary, it depends a little bit on how high a tsunami would be, because I've seen tsunamis being pretty high and sometimes even overflowing this kind of structures, sometimes they don't. Um, like I said in the beginning of this uh, uh, series, I want to be to be it sort of believable, uh, so that there is some danger. I mean, of course, I could make this so much higher that no tsunami would ever cross this um, entire area. So, uh, yeah, um, but it is still possible. I mean, yes, it is still possible. So that is what I have done. Um, this area will be suited for farming and for, uh, I think later on, of also forestry. I mean, this mountain is a natural barrier, so I don't have to worry about that. And well, behind this area, it's like, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. So it's like, uh, yeah, the only thing what I did, by the way, was like I created an extra outlet here for, you know, for the case, in case, you know, uh, it would fail over there. And I put like a windmill completely on top of this hill. So this would always go on, you know, the, um, it would happen very often that uh, the sewage would be compromised. Everybody gets sick, everybody leaves the city. And before you know it, you have like, uh, you know, big... Uh, troubles so i even had to buy a few more squares so i still a lot have uh, i still have a lot of work to do i will finish up the roads and in part eight you will see that i finished them and then then we are going to develop this area 
Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, so far. And uh, let's uh, see that this will uh, really happen against tsunamis. Maybe, maybe I will even remove this land to make it even more uh, interesting. Well, although it's pretty low in the first place, but well, we just see and. Um, yeah, you will uh, see how this uh, will further develop in part 8. And also I might be pulling off the same kind of dam over here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, tsunami is coming from this side. I don't know. There's a mountain over here. Um, yeah, it's like, yeah, the whole island is like, uh, has three entrances like here, here and here. And I am really keen on protecting it and uh, making a nice city in it. So, yeah, that's the entire idea. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in part 8. See you. Bye-bye.